Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today in this posting up um, video, another black uh, black adder clip. And um, this one is just one that we've done done previously, but um, there's an issue with the sound, so um, it wasn't loud enough. So I wanted to try and redo it at least. Um, but to be fair, when it comes to black matter or Rick Mail in general, this is for Lord Flashheart. <laughs> I think we could watch these all. Oh. Every single time I still get the same reaction to be fair because they are just gold. Uh definitely comedy gold. So um yeah, so without further ado, this one is Lord Flash Art, best compilation clips from Rick Mail's time on Black Adder across all four seasons. I think it was in all four seasons, was he? Can't remember if he's in the first season or not. Um I'll have to watch see I hadn't even watched them in a long time, so I can't even remember if he's in the first I don't think he was in the first season as Flash Art. It's an interesting question actually, I'll have, have to find out. But anyway, let's get started. Like and subscribe, you're enjoying the content. And uh let's get some blash art on the on the go. Ha! Eat knuckle, Fritz! Ugh. <laughs> How disgusting! A bosh on the sole of my boot! I just have to find a patch of grass to wipe it on. <laughs> Probably get shunned in the officer's mess. Sorry about the pong, you fellows. Trod in a bosh and can't get rid of the whiff. <laughs> Do you think we could dispense with the hilarious doggy do metaphor for a moment? <laughs> I'm not a bosh. This is a British trench. Is it? Oh, that's a piece of luck. Thought I'd landed sausage side. <laughs> Might have used your phone. If word gets out that I'm missing, 500 girls will kill themselves. <laughs> I wouldn't want them on my conscience. Not that they ought to be on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, flash out here. Yeah, cancel. I mean, <laughs> it's absolutely brilliant because you had him and you had like Hugh Laurie and Rowan Atkinson, and um, Mel Shit was um, Stephen Fry. So, I mean, it was a fantastic cast. Uh, Tony Robinson, as well, obviously, as Baldrick. It must have been some fun doing them, must have been. Cancel the state funeral, tell the king to stop blubbing. Flash is not dead! I simply ran out of juice! <laughs> yeah, and before all the girls start saying, oh, what's the point living anymore, I'm talking about petrol! <laughs> woof! Woof! <laughs> yeah, I dumped the kite on the prowl, so send a car. Uh, General Melchit's driver should do. She hangs around with a big knob, so she'd be used to a fella like me. Woof! Woof! <laughs> Look, do you think you can make your obscene phone call somewhere else? <laughs> no, not in half an hour, you rubber desk Johnny! <laughs> Send the bitch with the wheels right now or I'll fly back to England and give your wife something to hang her towels on. Oh. Okay. You honestly couldn't have pictured anyone else doing Flash Heart. I honestly don't think anyone would have done it as much justice as Rick Mail done it. Dig out your best booze and let's talk about me till the car comes. <laughs> yeah, I must be pretty impressed having Squadron Commander the Lord Flashheart drop in on your squalid bit of line. Actually, no. I was more impressed by the contents of my handkerchief the last time I blew my nose. <laughs> yeah, like how. <laughs> like how. You've probably got little pickers of me on the walls of your dugout, haven't you? <laughs> I bet you go all girly and giggly every time you... Look at that! I'm afraid not! Unfortunately, most of the infantry think you're a prat. <laughs> Ask them who they'd prefer to meet. Squadron Commander Flashheart and the man who cleans out the public toilets in Aberdeen. <laughs> and for wee jock Poopong McPlop. <laughs> <laughs> so in that fellow loop the loop, I honestly thought that the the My God! Yes, I suppose I am. <laughs> Lord Flash up, this is the greatest honour of my life. I hope I snuff it right now to preserve this moment forever. It could be arranged. <laughs> Lord Flash Art, I want to learn to write so I can send a letter home about this golden moment. So all the fellas hate me, eh? Not a bit of it. I'm your bloody hero, eh, old scat? Jesus. <laughs> now, Lord, I've got every cigarette card they ever printed of you. My whole family took up smoking just so that we could get the whole set. My grandmother smoked herself to death so we could afford the album. Oh, of course she did. Of course she did, the poor love-crazed old octogenarian. Uh, <laughs> well, all right, you fellas. Let's sit us down and yarn about how amazingly attractive I am. Yes, would you excuse me for a moment? I've got some urgent business. There's a bucket outside I've got to be sickened to. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, you chaps, let's get comfy. Let's get comfy. You look like a decent British bloke. I'll park the old booties on you, if that's OK. It would be an honour, my lord. Of course it would. <laughs> oh, have you any idea what it's like to have the wind rushing through your hair? No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> he has. <laughs> so I flew straight through a bedroom window, popped a box of chocks on the dressing table, machine gunned my telephone number into the wall, and then shut off and shagged his sister. <laughs> Driver Parkhurst reporting for duty, my lord. Well, 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 if it isn't little Bobby Parkhurst, saucier than a direct hit on a Heinz factory. <laughs> you you are. Well, that's how I like my girls. Direct and to my point. Woof! Woof! Tally ho then, back to the bar. You should join the Flying Corps, George. Mm. That's the way to fight a war. Tasty tuck, soft beds, and a uniform so smart it's got a PhD from Cambridge. You could even bring the breath monster here. Anyone could be a navigator if he can tell his ass from his elbow. Well, that's boring out, I fear. <laughs> We're always looking for talented types to join the 20 minuters. And there goes George. Tell me who then, Bobby. Hush, here comes a whiz bang. And I think you know what I'm talking about. Woof! Woof! I really did think old Flash would have turned up. I like the third, third one. This is very good. This is, this is second one. Flash by name. Yeah, it's the second Flash one. Flash by nature. <laughs> Where have you been? Where haven't I been? <laughs> well, I'm here now. <laughs> Who is that? I don't know, but he's in your place. Not for long. <laughs> that <laughs> Thanks, cool set man, there, like the beard. <laughs> gives me something to hang on to <laughs> so my old mate eddie's getting hitched eh Got it, yeah. what's the matter <laughs> can't stand the pace of the in <laughs> hi queenie you look sexy <laughs> But listen, wear your hair long. I'd prefer it that way. I've got such a crush on him. <laughs> and Melchie! <laughs> Still worshipping God? Oh, my lord. <laughs> Last thing I heard, he started worshipping me! <laughs> Nursey! I like it, firm and fruity. She played that part very well as well. Am I pleased to see you, or did I just put a canoe in my pocket? <laughs> Down! <laughs> and now, where's this amazing bird? The one who stopped my old pal Eddie doing exactly whatever he wants, ten times a night. Ah yes, uh, Flash, um, let me introduce my, my fiance, Kate. Hi, baby. Straight <laughs> <laughs> to <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what. She's got a tongue like an electric eel and she likes the taste of a man's tonsils. <laughs> you don't want to marry this jerk, baby. Meet me on my horse in eight seconds. But I can't run in this frock. You see, I find I actually prefer wearing boys' clothes. Weird. I always feel more comfy in a dress. <laughs> I've got a plan. And it's as hot as my pants! <laughs> what a man Flash is, eh? Things will certainly liven up around here now he's back. Won't they, Fla Flash? <laughs> so long, suckers! Next time you get bored yeah. of your lives, give Chains me a call. A and I'll come around and kill you! Bye, Edmund, and thanks for everything! Hooray! <laughs> 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 Potatoes, George. You said noble brother flyers were in the lurch. If I'd known you meant old slack bladder and the mound of the hound of the Baskervilles, <laughs> I'd probably let them stew in their own juice. And let me tell you, if I ever tried that, I'd probably drown. <laughs> <laughs> Still, since I'm here, I may as well do it. As the bishop said to the netball team. Come on, chums! <laughs> Sorry, chaps, 
once, but I've splintered my pancreas. Uh, and I seem to have this terrible cough. Cards! Cards! Wait, 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 wait a minute. Now, I may be packing the kind of tackle that you'd normally expect to find swinging about between the hind legs of a grand national winner. <laughs> but I'm not totally stupid. I've got the kind of feeling you'd rather we hadn't come. No, 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 I'm very grateful. It's just that I'd slow you up. I think I'm beginning to understand. Uh, are you? Uh, just because I can give multiple orgasms to the furniture just by sitting <laughs> doesn't mean that I'm not sick of this damn war. The blood, the noise, the endless poetry. He had the best lines, I think, didn't he? Like, this, everything was fantastic about the character. Is that really what you think, Flashard? Of course it's not what I think. Now get out that door before I redecorate that wall in an interesting new colour called Hint of Brain. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's clear. Let's get back to that lovely wall then. Woof! Woof! Mark! <laughs> Oh, damn, foiled oh. again. What bad luck. Ah, and the Lord Flashart. This is indeed an honor. Adrian Evans, bottom. The two of them must have had some fun even doing this. But it's always a running joke that Adrian always, Eddie was always the, the better fighter between him and Richie. And it was just funny that it turns out the way it does here. Finally, the two greatest gentleman flyers in the world meet. Two men of honor who are jousted together in the cloud strewn glory of the skies. <laughs> face to face at last. How often I have rehearsed this moment of destiny in my dreams. The valor V to encapsulate the unspoken nobility of our comradeship. <laughs> 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 Hello, darling. Good morning. Captain Blackadder, I, I thought you were... Playing tennis? <laughs> no. Dead? Uh, well, yes, unfortunately. Well, I had a lucky escape. No thanks to you. This is a friend of mine. <laughs> Flash out. This is Captain Darling. Captain Darling? Funny name for a guy, isn't it? <laughs> Last person I called Darling was pregnant 20 seconds later. <laughs> Hey, you couldn't be bothered to help old Slacky here. Oh, well, it, it wasn't quite that, sir. It's just that we weighed up the pros and cons and decided it wasn't a reasonable use of our time and resources. <laughs> well, this isn't a reasonable use of my time and resources, but I'm going to do it anyway. What? This. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Slacky. All right, Slacky, I've got to fly. Two million chicks, only one flash art. <laughs> but remember, if you want something, take it. Bobby! My lord. I want something. Take it. <laughs> no, matter, no matter what he does, no matter what he did, he always put everything into it, 100%. It was fantastic. But um, anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that. And um, say I was trying to do a few different Blackadder ones every Thursday, so I'll see if I can keep doing a couple of them. And uh, then maybe think of something else. Maybe do I'm trying to think what else I could do to from Thursdays. Maybe from the new new year onwards, from different clips. I might look and see if I could do a couple of these Star Trek ones or something like that. Try and get into some of that. But who knows? We'll see what happens anyway. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care, guys. Goodbye.